What's going on ladies and gents? So today we are back and we are going to do something that a lot of you folks have requested for quite some time now. We are going to resole a pair of cowboy boots. So we've gotten a lot of dress shoes, we've done a lot of heritage styles of boots, we've done some construction boots. So today we're doing cowboy boots. Now this brand is not a brand that I don't believe I've heard of, it's called Nakona. And apparently they are made in the USA. They've been around for over a hundred years. So I'm anxious to get these boots taken apart, see how they're constructed, see how they're made. And then while we're at it, Roscoe, we're also going to do a complete resole uh, per the customer's request. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so we've got this pair of reptile skin boots. Now what we're gonna do is give them a completely new resole, new heel pads or top lifts. And as you can see, Right here, the stitching is starting to hang over on that welt. We definitely don't want that, so we are going to completely re-welt these as well. All right, we're gonna be putting on JR leather soles. We're gonna be using Vibram rubber top lifts. Obviously, some of our new welt, which we're gonna to have to dye, make a darker color. And then also, the gentleman has requested that we use these Triumph toe plates. Not very often that we see toe plates on cowboy boots, but I'm liking it. I think it's gonna look really cool and it's gonna provide some extra protection on that toe. So, let's go. Man. There we go. That's the thing about these cowboy boots as opposed to a lot of dress shoes is the top lifts are also usually in there pretty good, as you can see with the nails. All right, cut that one off. All right, and don't worry, yes, I do pull the nails out of here, but if I don't clip these down some, it is gonna be impossible to get this leather up over those nails. So I know some folks ask if we pull the, uh, the old nails out, and yes, we do. This is just glue thinner so that I, it helps to loosen up the, uh, the sole so I can get it off a little easier. All right, so we took that whole piece off. I want to use this as the uh, stencil or the template, should I say, for the next one. Uh, you can see that this cork has been replaced before. It looks like they did a half sole on the last job. So we're going to take all of this out, clean it up as well.
All right, so we made the welt, as you can see, and now obviously we've got to dye this a dark brown, which was the uh, color of the original. Okay guys, if you didn't see our John Lobb video from a couple of weeks ago, I'll put the link above. Definitely check that out. Now the reason I bring up that video is because the whole reason that we had to redo that shoe is because it had been re-welted so many times, probably by machine, that it poked so many holes into the upper that it almost became like Swiss cheese. Now I'm going to show you here, us do it by hand. and. As I do it, I'm gonna show you how we can reuse the same holes from the factory over and over and over again, that way prolonging the life of the uppers without having to do any uh, additional damage. So let me show you. Now, if you can see these holes here along the upper, those were the original holes from the factory when the uh, machine put on the welt. Now, what I can do is you can see as I do it by hand, I'm gonna make a hole here Oops. Okay, and you can see I've got my tool through it, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up with the original hole here. Oops, back it up. There we go. And push it through. And that's how doing it by hand is just a much better way of doing it. All right guys, so this is the original sole that came on the boots and what I'm gonna do is I'm using it as a template so that I can put this new sole on there and get a better idea of the, uh, the measurement and the size of it, so. Okay, so I've got my template drawn out, and now what we're going to do is get this cut out, glued, and uh, put on the boot.
Okay guys, so we're getting ready to put the hill blocks on these boots. We're just about done, but instead of putting the entire hill block back on, like, you know, when we popped it off, it came in one piece. It's much easier, like we did a couple videos ago, where we just unstack it and then glue each one, put it on, sand it down, put the next one on, sand it down. It makes it a lot easier and it also fits and molds better to the boot, especially after it's been completely resold. So that's what we're gonna do now. Okay, ladies and gents, so these boots are complete. But as always, before we show you the final product, if you would, please give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscription below and also the little notification bell so that you're notified every time one of these videos comes out. We really appreciate it. I know some of you hate it when we say that, but it really does help when you give us a big thumbs up. Okay, let's look at these boots. So again, these boots are Nakona. They have been around for over 100 years, and like I said, they are American-made, or at least I believe most of them on, on their uh, website are American-made. Again, for that $250 price range, it's incredible. This video absolutely is not sponsored by Nakona, but when we see something that we like, when we're impressed by a boot or a shoe, we are gonna let you know. And as you saw, these boots were overall, they were very well made. And again, that price point, not too bad. So we put JR soles on here as the customer requested. We finished them off with Vibram top lifts. And then we also added the, the Triumph toe plates uh, per the customer's request as well. We haven't done that a lot on boots, but I think it looks good. It gives a little pop to it. And then of course we added a little bit of color to the sole. As far as the uppers go, they are reptile skin. I believe they're lizard. So all we did is just put some reptilian uh, conditioner on there. It'll help that skin from drying out and give a lot more longevity to the uppers. Other than that, that just about does it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again so much for watching the video. And as always, folks, y'all have a good one.